Ekaterina Popova. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? <laughs> awesome, it's so nice to be here. Thank you so much, Christopher, for inviting me. I am so honored to be a part of this amazing event and more importantly to be part of the Philadelphia community, which has been thriving and blossoming and has brought me to where I am today. So before I continue, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Ekaterina Popova. I'm an artist and founder of Crate Magazine. And Crate Magazine was born out of sort of a frustration, um, a lack in my life. And it was shaped by the sort of grit that Philly has to offer. So a little backstory: uh, in 2011, I graduated with an art degree. And as you can imagine, it was hard to find um, employment. And I was rejected from every single job I applied to. <laughs> and I was painting, but I was just so frustrated because I wasn't connecting. Um, and I wasn't really getting the results that I wanted in my life. And so after years of working in starting from food industry and retail, I finally had like, like a lightning bolt strike me, like, I should start my own thing. And I did, and it was terrible in the beginning. It was quite um, a journey getting to this point. Um, the first magazine I started was done in like Microsoft Word, and it looked awful because I had no design background. But I just kept going, and I was so committed. And what started happening was people in the area, people in Philadelphia started to respond. I started to get a little bit bolder and approach galleries and curators and reach out to local businesses and try to support other people. So I think I learned a lot over the years about sort of giving and then opportunities sprouting from that and also using rejection as a redirection and a way to kind of shape your interests and shape your passions and see what you can create with that. So Crate Magazine is now um, an international publication. We have shops in London, New York, Amsterdam, Stockholm, LA, and it's just been quite a journey. So we release six print issues a year. For those of you who love art and design and want to get to know more about the art world, and although we do feature a lot of international artists, we work closely with the Philadelphia arts community. And most recently, we worked with Conrad Benner, who's a speaker today. So super honored to have him curate our selection and introduce the readers to amazing street art here in Philadelphia. So it's been cool to kind of spread it out into the world and bring Philadelphia arts to a global scale, which is kind of, it's interesting because even though we started here, I think it's kind of like a mutual relationship with Philly supporting the magazine and then the magazine kind of bringing Philly to the forefront of other art scenes across the world. So um, next up, we're going to be in um, our Basel, Miami, partnering with Art Miami Fairs and introducing some Philly, Philly folks to that community, which will be super exciting. And um, speaking of the Philadelphia art community, I am super honored because recently, we had um, the uh, excuse me, Rail Park Benefit Project through Bridget Mayer Gallery, who has also been a huge support to the magazine, introduced me to a ton of artists through her workshops and through her events. And it's been an incredible event where arts come together to support other exciting things in our community. So um, Bridget has been raising funds through the sales of artists' work that generously donated. Just before I leave, I wanted to, um, if you're interested in learning more about the magazine or if you want to see a free um, copy, just email me at info at createmagazine.com or you can visit createmagazine.com and send me a message. And we're super happy to share and collaborate with local businesses as well and support, support you.